When you think of mountain biking, I guarantee you that this is not the first place that comes to mind. Home to the Dead Sea and vibrant culture, Israel is where Noga and her fiance call home. This is the story of Noga Karen. This is Spoke Tales. As a baby, Noga was always uh, very active, a lot of crying when she was very small, and then a lot of running, jumping, and doing many dangerous things. It was very difficult to buy clothes with her. When she was small, she was always uh, taking us to the boy department. It was very important for her not to be with skirts and like this. She was a little uh, tomboy. Tomboy, yeah. Tomboy. <laughs> yeah. She was always different and very active. She was a little bored in this small village, and uh, one guy built a special uh, ramps behind our house, and she went with a bike, and all the boys told her that uh, it's not for her, it's for the boys. And when they went away, she always tried to do some ramp jumping and things. And then she just joined the group in uh, Misgav and uh, started training and competing uh, mountain bike. So yeah, I started a little bit with the downhill biking, like did some races just in Israel. I loved more the extreme stuff, uh, some jumps, uh, downhill, but I did all, also cross country and road. And in one point, uh, I knew that I have to choose to focus on one thing, and in Israel you have maybe one downhill track, like you need to be in Europe or somewhere else in the world. So I chose uh, to go to cross country. I was racing in the cross country since 2008. So first year junior, I did uh, like European championship, world championship together with the national team. Uh, the year after I was fifth uh, world champs. So that would be like my best uh, result. Uh, I had also some two top five world cups. And then afterwards, I got into the army for two years, which is mandatory in Israel. And then it was a little bit harder because you have like certain days that you, you can go to like train and do training camps and races, but you have to be every day for five days a week in the army. Uh, when I stopped racing cross country, I decided that I want to stop it because I don't like it anymore. And I want to bring back the fun. So that's kind of the, the reason why I first got to Enduro because I just went for fun, for a race. Yeah, I just fell in love from the first moment, going on the shuttle, meeting cool people, doing those amazing tracks. We always feel that, uh, we always feel that uh, she's very special. From the age of 16, I think, she was traveling alone around the world. It's very satisfying that she got uh, to be a professional rider because it was her dream. So I think what makes Israel so special is that although what you think, that we only have camels and donkeys, so that's only the desert, but we also have the, the other part of the country. And I think it's really cool because when you cross that line of the desert, you just see, it just looks a little bit more like Europe or like south of France or Italy. And it's like you have many forests and like you have Tel Aviv, which is a beautiful city. For me, it's one of the best cities in the world. I grew up in a really small village, so it's a little bit like a, like a family. So we grew up with 40 other families. So we had some events of, that all the villagers are arriving, and it's an, a very nice community. Happy to be part of this big family. There is like certain things that motivate me. First of all, I feel super lucky to do what I love. To me, when I'm on the bike, it feels like 
I, you kind of forget everything else and you just pedal. Even if it's on the road bike, it's just kind of therapy to me. I'm pretty happy and lucky to have Omer, my fiance. So he's also a hobby rider. We ride together on the road mostly. It's really, really nice to me to have him. The scene in Israel, I would say there is a lot of amateurs riding. If you go Friday, Saturday to a certain forests, you will see like a traffic jam to go into the forest because there is so many people riding. Moni is riding two times a week with a group. I'm riding alone and on uh, the end of the week, we usually make long rides, two, three hours. Yeah, I'm always thinking about what could we do to make it better and to make it grow. She should live as she lives. She should do what she likes and what she believes in. She should not listen to what other sailors, even us, because we always told her, oh, you have to go to the university, you have to study. But now we see that she's doing other things, but she's happy and it's great. If she enjoy, if she smile all day, uh, that's that's a good way to, to live. So my goal is this season to be top five in the in the overall uh, ranking the, of the EWS. I'm dreaming of a podium in, in one race this year. It feels like the level is getting higher every race. Yeah, so actually Whistler is a big is a big one for me. For sure it's exciting to see so many people riding and so many girls. Like last year I couldn't believe how many like super skilled riders there is, uh, girls riding. So yeah, I'm really looking forward. And then after the race, you, you have to combine parties and racing together and try to survive Whistler. crashes today, just like few small mistakes. I don't know, it just happened. I cannot believe it. Yeah, I'm super excited. For sure the best race to be on the podium in. Like so many people, such an amazing place. Paradise for everyone. It's so nice to be here, to ride the bike park, to ride outside the bike park with the trails. And a lot of fun at the race. And yeah, when you enjoy it, then it's good. <laughs> huh? What is your place? No way! No way! <laughs> Buffalo tonight! But you buy the drinks. Sorry. 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 Sorry.